friends, welcome back to my channel on Feral's Mad World and this is Feral. There are so many parks in Ethiopia in Addis Ababa. You must have gone to Unity Park, to Friendship Park, to Ontoto Park. But today in this video, I am showing you offbeat parks and today I am at Ambassador Park. So let me show you how it looks. Ambassador Park in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia is a serene green space located in the heart of city. The entrance for this park is just 50 bit. It's a really small park and this is how it looks. It is a popular destination for both locals and visitors seeking relaxation and recreation. The park is characterized by lush greenery, well-maintained lawns and vibrant flower beds. Tall trees provide shade and create peaceful atmosphere, offering a welcome escape from hustle and bustle of the city. Ambassador Park has recreational activities for the visitors to enjoy from the paved park to the kids play area. So this wonderful park is a government property but it is managed by a private company. So this is a small play area for kids and also in front of me is a small store where kids can buy their toys. Ambassador Park serves as a community hub where people gather to socialize, exercise, and connect with nature. It's a place where families come to spend college time together. So, this park is fun for people who want to sit around, who want to walk, or the kids who want to play. And they also have a DJ, and it's fun to be here. This place only doesn't have a playground but also has two food vendors offering snacks and refreshments. This park is situated in the prime location yet it is very peaceful from the hustle bustle of the urban city. And here right now I'm having my macchiato. Well it's not macchiato, it is not from machine made but it's gunna bawata and let me taste. Not bad. Well, this place had been shut down for many many years but it has been less than one year that it has opened back again and now this park looks wonderful. So friends, the second on my list is Irecha Oromia Park. Now this park is located in the center of the city just in front of Marriott Hotel and this park is wonderful. It has no entrance fee. So this is the top view of the park. This is how it looks. Irecha Oromia Park. The word Irecha is also known as Thanksgiving and it's a Thanksgiving festival. It's a deeply rooted cultural event celebrated by Oromo people in Ethiopia. Now this place is relatively very new and it's just in front of married apartments at Muscle. To be very honest, this park doesn't have anything much to do except for the greenery. The entrance is free. You can just use this space for photography. But if you have big cameras, then you need to take permission from the nearby Kabale. This park is relatively a new park and there is not much crowd. When I ask for the food, they have few items like they have pasta, pirpir and other things. But I'll just have bunna bawata, that means coffee with milk. Just come here to breathe fresh air and also drinking macchiato isn't a great option here. This coffee isn't that great but you can just come to this park, enjoy the park, enjoy the fresh air and to feel and to be with the nature. Third park and it's called Pickoff Park. It's called Pickoff Park but there is no Pickoff here. And here there are the animals in enclosure. So let's check out what's there in this cave. Peacock's Park official name is Central Park. 
Years back, there was one lion park at Siddhis Kilo, which is also called Six Kilo, which has been moved and integrated to this new site. Here at this park, animals are kept in enclosure, and we saw few hyenas. But this place lacks signboard. They should invest in having more description on the animal that you are seeing. So this is how beautiful it looks. Look at it. It looks like I'm sitting in a cave. This park is located at Bolo Sabar, and it's called the Cock at this park. The leaders of these nations are trying to make Addis Ababa Ethiopia green and they are opening up so many parks for good. So as I mentioned earlier, I would be showing you off-beat parks of Addis Ababa. I'm not showing you the glamorous park like Friendship Park, Unity Park, but this is Peacock Park. This park is a very huge park. It is in Ethiopia from past 45 to 50 years. And this is one side of the park where we have animals and city garden. People also come for photography and to take good pictures here. Here someone has come for their graduation pictures. In front of the animal park is the kids play area. Only the ferris wheel is not working. Rest, you can use the park. It's a good place for kids to come and enjoy. So these are the wooden bees, which he said that they have got this from South Africa. I tried to find out on Google what are wooden bees but I couldn't find so if you know what they are please comment me on the comment section down below. So now I am walking towards this side to explore what's there. So the entrance to this park is 100 bir for the foreigners and 30 bir for the locals. They charge me 100 bir. So these are the three tickets. One ticket is for me, that is uh, the foreigner ticket. The other one is for the local, for my husband, they charge 30 bit. And then one is for the car, they charge 20 bit. So in total I paid 150 bit. Keep walking inside, deep inside, you will have a look at this. It's a good place for a person to come to relax, to be with nature. The kids I can see in front are playing games. I can see a few couples there having their good time. So the place behind me is a coffee shop and a place to have uh, your food. They have basic food items like pasta and omelette and other things. I am not in the mood to drink coffee so I'll skip this part. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed. I have shown you some unusual parts of Ethiopia of Addis Ababa and I hope this content was useful for you. If you have liked this content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Signing up for now.